What's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, we're playing some Oriana in the mid lane here. We're rocking that Dark Star skin. And I want to say right off the bat, you guys, before we get too far into the game, you guys might notice that this video is a little bit different from what I would normally post recently. In fact, I'm going right back to my roots. There's no face cam here. There is uh, a very basic thumbnail like I used to rock back in the day. There's also, of course, the uh, very basic title. And I'm wondering what you guys think of all that. I just want to get that out of the way right before we get too far into this video. Because I'm literally just testing things. I'm testing the water, seeing what it is you guys like. Because over these past few months, I've been asking, you know, bigger content creators. Hey, like, what should I be doing with my channel? I'm in a bit of a rut, growing-wise. And I'm trying to figure out what it is I should be doing differently. That would get me the success I desire. And the majority of them tell me straight up just to do clickbait. And so that's what I've been trying a little bit. Like, low-key. Like, I think my clickbait was uh, not too intense to the point of being... Uh, I mean, some of it was a little bit cringe, but most of it wasn't too, too bad. And all this is to say, uh, I found that actually made my channel worse instead of better. As uh, cute skin. Yeah, it is a pretty cute skin, right? Well, let's actually walk up and see if we can auto-attack Ari a little bit. Missed the ball. That's unfortunate. But got ourselves that Thunderlord's proc by auto in her. I really like taking the E level 1 on Ori because when you do so, you can block a lot of damage, but you also can trade really well because as you're blocking damage, you have that little bit of, little bit of leeway to uh, walk up and do some free damage without taking any. And Oriana's auto attacks do quite a lot of damage because of that extra magic damage, so you're just in a really good spot if you're able to do so. so. Let's go ahead and just walk on up and see what we can do to Ari. And there's a nice chunk of damage. We're going to take some back, but I think we're still in the driver's seat as far as the trades go so far. And I missed the siege. The curse, the curse is still real, man. Alright, 11 to her 15. We are down a bit of farm here, but we can bring it back, I'm sure, because the wave is pushing towards us, so there's plenty more for us to get before things even out. It looks like First Blood will go down over by Lee Sin. That's unfortunate. And I'm hoping this minion isn't too low. Nope, the tower will take it out. That is unfortunate. I guess I have to W some of these. Alright, got most of those. 15 to her 19. We are down a little bit here, but not too much. Maxing the Q here first this game. Uh, with Orianna, you can max the W. It does provide you a little bit more burst damage, so if you're looking to trade and win the fights, it is a pretty good way to go, but it does cost you a lot of mana to use your W, so you gotta be careful about that. And I just prefer the Q because it's more pokey, and it does allow you to farm a little bit more easily, because the cooldown gets reduced and stuff like that. Oops. And she missed her charm there, so I'll get some nice damage on her. 19 to 22. Yeah, we're still down a little bit here, but we're not doing too bad. Luckily avoiding that Orb of Deception, so we should have some leeway to trade with her here, but we are low on mana. But she's low on mana as well, so it's like a bit of a standoff for the time being. And actually looks like Lee Sin's still getting bullied around in his jungle a little bit. I want to go help, but I'm in a position here in the lane where I can't really rotate too far safely. And yeah, it looks like he's in trouble there again with Lee. Uh, Alright, he got over the wall. At least he's safe. Yeah, I'm just kind of holding on to my spells here, trying to regen that mana. Only down two minions, so it's not too bad here so far. Max that Q again. It looks like Elise actually got executed. What the heck? That's crazy. Alright, well, works out for us. And I'm just looking to clear some of these out here while we have a little bit of space between the waves. Okay. See, so yeah, me and Arya are really at a standoff here. The only advantage that there is for her right now is the fact that she has that extra potion over us. She does have a little bit more uh, built-in sustain to her kit, and that's probably why she's able to not use that potion just yet, even though we've traded pretty fairly so far. But I think once we get level 6, we might have enough burst to possibly take her out, provided we hit our spells. But she is Ari, she has that spirit rush available, so she might just be able to dodge our spells, so we'll see how things go. Her orb of deception is down, so let's see if we can trade with her here a little bit. There's a nice little bit of damage, and if we get one more ball on her, I thought she would walk back towards the minion wave, but not quite. 35 to 35, though. This lane is very even so far. Alright, there's level 6. I am looking for the opportunity to poke at her more here, but you gotta be so careful about it, because you don't want to take too much free damage. And I missed the siege, goddammit. <laughs> I keep doing that, man, where I'm trying to trade the wrong time, and I end up missing the siege because of it, but we're still doing okay here. This could be a lot better. There's a nice Thunderlord's proc. The problem is here is that we're a little bit too low on mana to really have any kill threat, but so is she. So we really have nothing to worry about. We just don't have much to gain right now besides just getting those last hits. This 
best as we can. 43 to her 42. It's not too bad. And actually, Lee Sin's in behind. I wonder if we can make anything of this. The charm is going to hit me here, but Ari's out of mana. Uh-oh. Lee's is here. Oh, she healed Lee Sin. And, oh, God. Her Nectin's here. All right. Well, we're going to lose our Lee Sin, unfortunately, on that one. I flashed away because I thought her Nectin would focus me because the Lee Sin kill was pretty, pretty much guaranteed it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And there goes my phone. Sorry about that. And I think we just have to walk out of this one. There's really... Oh, Shen's going back in. I'm not sure why he went back in. I mean, Braum's here, but that doesn't change anything. We all right, nice block from Braum. Yeah, we gotta just back out of this one, I think. There's really nothing to gain. Just lots to lose if we stick around and die. But Braum's gonna help us get these last hits, so thank you, sir. And I think it makes most sense for us just to go back. But if Ari's back in as well, I might be able to get some more last hits. Yeah, she's back in, so let's just get what last hits we can while she's not here. Okay, not too bad. 53 to her 44 now. She does have two assists, so she absolutely has the lead over us. But with that said, I think we're still doing okay here. So let's get ourselves that lost chapter. That'll be a really nice item for us. We're working towards that Merlin Namacon first. As you are playing Orianna, you want to have that extra mana. It helps a lot. The extra CDR is also really important because with that CDR, you're able to use your spells more frequently. And as Ori, your spells are really what allows your kits to be useful. If you don't have your spells and you're just auto-attacking, you're going to be a lot less potent as a champion. Even though your auto-attacks do bonus damage, and that is very great, uh, it's just it's nothing compared to the damage your spells do. So you want to have that CDR. One thing that's also really important to do when you're playing Orianna is uh, kind of look at the mini wave and see if there's opportunities where you can go and get the raptors. Uh, it's kind of crappy for your jungler, but if you can take the raptors, you probably should because it really helps a lot. You can see you actually get a farm, and you can you can take them pretty easily as Orianna because you have that shield with your E. So you can see we're not taking that much damage from these. So it's not too bad to do. And I'm putting myself in a position here where I might get charmed, so I'm just going to wait for it. Oh, see, I was juking it, but I juked it too soon, so I ended up taking damage anyways. Yeah, feels bad. Because I knew the charm was going to come out, it was just a matter of when, and I unfortunately juked too soon and ended up walking right back into it. Alright, we have Lee Sin ganking here, but I don't know if much is going to come of this. Let's go ahead and shield him here. And if he goes on that, here we go, this is looking good. There's the kill, that was really nicely played by Lee Sin. Good job, my friend. Good stuff. Okay, and let's go ahead and just bring this back. Elise is in the brush here. I'm going to ping her out. And if we play it like we don't know she's there, we might be able to surprise her. Oh, nice Sonic Wave. I'm going to shield Elise in here again, try and get that ball in there. And Oh, the repel was perfect by Elise. We're probably going to get the kill here, though. Yeah, that was a really good repel by her. She had to repel that very moment to avoid my Shock Wave. And if I didn't use the Shock Wave, she was going to kill Elise in regardless. So I had to try and hope that she would fuck up. And let's just speed buff away. Alright, nice. So that gets us two kills. We got double buffs. We're in a really good spot here, but unfortunately we did lose Lee Sin on that one. Lee Sin's 0-3 now, but you know what? He made those two plays, got us those two assists. In my book, he is redeemed. That's all we needed. So let's get ourselves that uh, Phoenix Codex, extra Amp Tome, some potions, and head back to that lane. Popping that W in the base because we have that blue buff. Not to mention, even without blue buff, you can pop that W in the base for that speed buff because of the mana regen that you get from being in base. We'll make up for it. So 70 minions to her 53. Our farm isn't as good as it could be this game. It could be a lot better. We could be like where Jin's at at 72. But we're doing well enough to be satisfied. And I think we should be able to get this. Nope. Too slow. Alright, but at this point, we really do have a lot of pressure on this Ari. So we're going to keep our ball away from ourselves. Because you want to keep your ball on yourself normally when you're in a losing lane. But when you're in a winning lane, you can keep it on the map like this near your laner. So it's easier to hit them with it. Just like this. kind of the biggest thing with Ori if you're playing her in lane is if you're losing you want to keep the ball on yourself with the extra armor mag resist but if you're ahead you can be a little bit more aggressive and leave it next to the, um, the mini the mini wave to pressure your opponent laner and nice try Ari not quite gonna work she's taking a lot of damage but I don't know if we can kill her just yet but I definitely want to try soon I think she's trying to bait me to that brush though because I think Elise is in there but we can't be too sure Oh, she's so low. She's so very low. If Lee Sin was around me, I would be going ham. But because I know Elise is here, I don't want to go ham. But I'll do some free damage to Elise, because we can. I'm missing a lot of farm for this, but Ari's missing more, so it's okay. And look at that. Pressuring the wave. Let's see what they do here. That's a bait. Yep, see? 
Don't have doubles anymore, but we're still pressuring this Lena well enough that we should be able to find the opportunity to kill her if she comes back to Lena. If she doesn't, she's losing a lot of tower damage. And there's some nice damage onto Elise. And yeah, with this not quite finished Morella, but the components, we can we can pressure quite a lot because we just have enough mana to do so. Yeah, this is kind of why I like the Q-Max. It's less bursty, but you just are able to farm so much more easily. Oh, okay, they want to engage on me here, apparently. Alright, they're going to hit both spells here. I'm going to flash, pop my ghost as well, because I know they're going to try and all in me here. And now that Lee Sin's here, we might be able to turn this around, because my ghost is still active. But Ari has one more spirit rush, so let's just be a little bit careful. Alright, the sonic wave misses, but the charm does land, so it's not going to go in our favor. Yeah, popping both my summoners like that might have been overkill, but I'd rather that than get myself killed. And if Lee Sin's safe... We should be okay. Alright, maxing that W. Oops. And with those potions being used, we're actually pretty healthy again. There's some nice W damage. The Q did not quite reach her, though. And I thought Thunder was proc off that, but it didn't. I really want to kill this Ari. We're so close to getting her. Oh, there's some nice damage. Come back here. Got him. Yeah, her charm came out just a little bit too late, and we were just able to run her down because our W speed buff allowed us to get in range to get that last hit in there. So, nice easy kill. Us being a little bit fed definitely helped with that. And let's get these minions here and push in the lane. Oops, missing none of these, actually, I think. Nope, missed the siege. <laughs> the curse is real, man. I'm telling you. I don't miss every single siege minion, but what I do is because of the curse. And for those of you who don't really know, the curse is literally just an inside joke of me just being bad at League of Legends and missing a siege minion. That's all it is. It's not an actual curse. It's just me being bad. And oh god, what are you, what you doing, Elise? I think I'm dead. Well, that confirms that this brush is warded because she knew exactly where in the brush I was. That's unfortunate. Let's get Nomicon. Let's get Sorcerer's Boots as well. The extra move speed are really good for us. And a control ward. We haven't gotten one yet, so I think it'll be good to get. And at this point in the game, I'm kind of debating actually undoing getting the po the uh, biscuits and instead getting the refillable. But I like the biscuits, man. They give you that extra 15 HP and mana immediately. But then again, like that's only 15. We're pretty far into the game where at this point, that 15 really isn't that big of a number. So let's go with the refillable instead. Because that way we don't have to buy potions ever again. And that should be good. So pop that W, get that move speed out of the base. And actually, I just looked over at chat here. Yo, my dog just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Hey, man, thanks. Sorry it took me so long to notice that, but I appreciate the support, my friend. And let's return to the lane here. And actually, getting blue buff would be really good for us if Lee Sin doesn't mind passing that off to us. And Brom, being a homie. Thanks, dude. Holding the lane for us. So we get all the fun. And Ari ulted, apparently. So that's definitely a good cooldown for us because now we're up three levels on her. So let's leave the ball out a little ways. So that way it's way easier to hit her with our spells, just like that. And I see Elise on the side, but I don't think I really care, because we have Braum here as backup. So, like, we're we're very, very safe. Alright, it looks like Lee Sin. Yeah, let's blue. And I'll get a control word down over here. I always, I always like this spot when I'm playing uh, mid lane from red side of the map. It just works really nicely for me. Let's go ahead and just shield him. Thank you very much. And we'll head back to the lane. Alright, I really want to kill this Ari. I haven't really gotten a good alt off yet, and I would really like an opportunity to do so. So let's see if we can hit our spells and possibly take her out. Got him. <laughs> that was a nice little pop. Yeah, the ultimate looks really cool with this skin. I like it quite a lot. And Elise is behind us. What you doing? Alright, she's doing a lot of damage to us. And I think we're probably dead. Oh god, yes, we're totally dead. She does a lot of damage. I totally misplayed that as well. But Lisa might be able to clean up here if he hits his Sonic Wave. He missed that one, but he has more opportunities to come. And the Ward Hop's gonna help. Oh, <laughs> the Braum gets the kill. What? That didn't look like it hit, but I guess it did. I'll take it. I get the assist. Works for me, man. So now Braum has blue buff. So now Braum, go ahead and feed... And then I'll kill who kills you. <laughs> uh, of course, that's not what, we, what you actually want. But uh, what we do actually want is I think we want to wait for about 10 seconds here 
uh, for our respawn, but also for that extra gold for our new Sarge Rod. And if Renekton is just going to walk in and suicide, I mean, that's, you know, it's up to you, man, but I wouldn't recommend that. A nice Sonic Wave with the Flash, he gets the kill. Good job. Okay, so now we have this measly large rod. The reason we buy this with Orianna is, of course, towards either a Rabidons or a Ludens. I normally prefer Ludens second, and the reason for that is because the AP is pretty similar. I mean, you get a little bit more with Rabidons, of course, but Ludens, you get extra move speed and an extra bit of burst damage. And that burst damage is really good for comboing, but it's also really good for wave clearing. It's just really versatile in that way. But it really comes down to the move speed. That's like the biggest thing for me with Ori, because you are pretty mobile with the Ghost, but if you combine that with Ludens, you're just so insanely mobile. It's so powerful. Now, I'm just going to position here for the time being, because I think I might be able to get a nice Shockwave combo. Okay, we got a Flash come out from one person, but we should be able to get that one. Nice. And Ari's... Yeah, she flashed out, but that was still pretty good. Could have had a two-man Shockwave. Just the one man. Still in our advantage. And now I'll push this mid-tower and possibly finish it off. And use nice damage to Ari. Okay, what more can we do? Our entire team seems to be ready to go and push down this mid lane. If Draven stays far up, there's some nice damage. Lee Sin finishing it. Nice, good job. And he shields right back out. Well played, my friend. Okay, let's pop a potion here. Just keep ourselves topped off. Do some damage to Ari. Oof, there's half her HP. Look at that Ori damage, man. All right, where's our, where's our team? They're all backing off for some reason. Ooh, I thought I would get her with that. Got him. <laughs> just had to flash after her just to really close that gap and really catch her by surprise. And now Elise is... She has a... What is that item called? I don't remember what it's called. It's the item that um, has a little dash to it. Hextech Protobelt. That's the one. I didn't notice that she had that until she used it. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And, uh, oh, Shen in trouble? I got you, fam. Kill these little spider links. Oh, God. Juked. Yeah, whenever somebody flashes after you like that, just just go somewhere unpredictable. Just be wild, just be unpredictable, and you'll be fine. Okay, so what do we need here? We just need the Aether Wisp. Actually, Draven's here. I kind of want to see if I can kill Draven. I'm not even mad. <laughs> There's some nice damage to him. If he sticks around, I should be able to combo him with my ultimate. That was pretty cool. Hey, I'm glad you liked it. Alright, and their blue apparently is coming up here soon. This is a really risky play by me to make, but I don't know. I'm feeling ambitious. I'm feeling I'm feeling confident. I'm thinking I might be able to walk on over and just snag that. So let's get a ward over here and hop on over. As Orianna, because you have that shield, you can very, very easily take buffs and stuff, provided there's not somebody here to smite steal it. Oh, we still got it, baby. Oh, shit, but we're, we're in a bad spot now because Ari's in the river. Oh, never mind. She's not. She decided to let us go. Dang, everything going our way right now. I like it. All right, let's head back to the mid lane here. The wave's getting pushed in. But Ari is missing. I wonder where she went off to. Hopefully nowhere that is a threat to us. And hopefully we don't miss the siege minion because the curse needs to die. Please. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? No, we didn't get it. You serious? <laughs> Dude, I hate this game. <laughs> League of Legends sucks. I'm, I'm installing League of Legends because I can't get siege minions. All right, it's fine. Let's just get the raptors. Make ourselves feel a little bit better about the siege minion loss by... Taking Lee Sin's stuff. Yeah, we're a bit of a jerk, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And damn you phone, shut up. Alright, let's head back here to the mid lane. Might be able to find Ari and possibly pick her off again here, depending upon how she plays this next engagement. Here's some nice damage. Only the W hit, though. The Q didn't quite reach. The W radius is a little bit bigger than your Q radius, of course. So you gotta keep that in mind. But I wonder if we can full combo over here, if we hit everything. Let's just see. Get the ball out. Got him. It was a little bit of a reach, but we managed to get her. The ultimate's a reach, though. It can be quite generous sometimes. You just gotta kind of know what to look for. Okay, and there we go. Let's get ourselves top lane, actually, because it looks like a lot of a fight's happening up here. And only Braum is alive, so if he can support us and get this double kill, I'd be all over that. But I wonder if they're actually gonna stick around. It looks like Elise is sticking around long enough. I got my ghost popping, so let's see if we can do this. There's a one. Can we get the twofer? I believe. We're gonna get stunned up here, but I think we've got what it takes. Pop the W. There we go. The auto attacks are all we need. Nice job, Braum, supporting us in that one. And let's get this minion here. And this one here. And bring it through for the last hit. I like it. Okay, and our blue buff has respawned here. Ours is almost out from theirs, uh, their jungle. I 
kind of want to stick around, actually, because Shen's struggling quite a lot this game. Their mechanism's pretty big. I think it might be worth a while for us to actually push this in and take this first tower so that Shen doesn't have to come top anymore and can pressure the rest of the map and help us out. Because him trying to go top lane over and over again, trying to get this tower, it's just it's not working for him. It's like bashing your head against a wall. It's just, just go around the wall. In other words, let your teammate take over for you on this one. So we'll get this. And it looks like Ari's in the river. Might get surrounded, but I think she might just go into her jungle. Yeah, she will. Yeah, Leeson will help us out on this one, it looks like. And I'm sorry if you guys hear some background noise. Unfortunately, the tenants upstairs are being a little bit rambunctious. The tenants upstairs, they have these two kids. Uh, I think they're like five and seven. They're really cute kids, and they're really great, but they can be, you know, like kids. And they can do kid-like stuff, and they can make a lot of noise. Oh, can I dodge the stun? I mean, we're still alive, so I like the way this is going. Renekton, go away, please. <laughs> nice. All right, double kill for me. They all chased me down, but they just can't quite get me. The Shen shield was really big there. My team collapsing was also really big. Nice job, team. Uh, team, that was sick. I like that a lot. Okay, we have 5,000 gold. When did this happen? What the heck? Okay, let's just get the Lin's Echo here. Let's work towards that Rabadon's next. Or actually... Let's just buy Void Staff straight up because that is a huge power spike for us and we can do it, so why not? We'll also sell that uh, refillable because at this point it makes sense to pick up that Amp Tome towards our, our Rabadons, which we will get next. And our farm in this game is pretty good. We're sitting at almost 200 at 23 minutes. Not too bad. We had a bit of a rough start in the sense that we were just being a little bit sloppy. It wasn't quite warmed up. It is the first game of the day, but now that we're getting a little bit warmed up here, we're playing much better and I'm liking the way this game is flowing. And finish that blue buff off. I'll walk bot lane, get the farm that's built up down here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do from there. Maybe we'll get Dragon, because it looks like Shen is demanding a lot of pressure from their team top. So with that, we'll be, we should be in a pretty good position to get that Dragon. But we'll see. We'll see what happens over the next 30 seconds or so. Yeah, it looks like Elise is top lane, so that definitely means Dragon. I'm on the way. Let's do that up. And I'll get a ward over here. Might as well. It's a good spot to ward. One thing with Orion, I think a lot of players disregard, and I want to give it as a tip, is if you're unsure where to put your ball, normally a good rule of thumb is if you have a teammate around, just shield your teammate. Like, it's so simple to do so, and it, the reach of it, I mean, look how crazy that reach is. It just helps so much. And there was a pretty weak shockwave there, actually. That was not what I should have shockwave, but we're still going to get a lot of damage done here. It's probably Ghost as well. This fight's going to get pretty intense. I'm going to keep that move speed going. Oh, shit, I missed reconnecting with that. I think we're still okay in this, though. Oh, dang. My ball didn't uh, relaunch onto me, so that was not what I wanted it to be. Oh, got him. All right, that wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot better. I made a lot of mechanical misplays in that one. The shockwave of mine wasn't the best. I missed a few spells on Renekton because he uses Slice and Dice. But overall, still a really good fight for us. Got the better end of that, that's for sure. And that's what the most important thing is that you get the better end of the fight. But noticing the mistakes you make is how you're going to make yourself better. And if Elise keeps coming up like this, it might be able to take her out. We'll see, though. Alright, I think Jin's gonna take some damage here. He got stunned up. Let's go ahead and just do some damage to Fresh. Alright, Shield Braum. And Fresh should go down here. Nope, not quite. Got rid of some Spiralings, though. Maybe yeah, Thresh flashed out, so... Oh. Ari, what, what you doing, Ari? Alright, we can't quite reach her. I mean, we can get this inhibitor. I don't see any reason not to. Their team really can't stop us. We are so powerful on this Orianna this game. Alright, let's... I mean, I really want to one-shot the Draven. I really do. Wait, he went Phantom Dancer Rush? What the heck is this guy doing? This guy's a fool. Alright, let's see if we can hit the, the... Maybe the Draven and Ari? There it is! <laughs> Just leave the ball on the floor, see if they walk into it. They totally freaking did. Let's turn the fight around, kill this Thresh, triple kill, what else can we find? Come on. If Leeson can get this Elise, that'd be pretty cool, but I think she's gonna rock all the way out back to base. Yeah, she's not a fool like that Draven and Ari. That was so funny, though. They both just walked right into my ball, made it so free for me. Alright, Leeson, I'll shield you a little bit from that tower damage. Keep the pressure up. At this point, we could probably buy our Rabbitons anytime we want. I mean, we're pretty dang close to having the gold for it, I think. I might be wrong, though. It doesn't cost 3,800. I'm pretty sure that's right, and we already have the Amp Tome, so we're a little ways away, I think. Are we going to get these towers here? Are we going to end the game already? Is that what's happening? 
All right, Draven, you want to walk that way. Ooh, he actually dodged it. I thought he would take some damage from that, but I guess not. There's half his HP with just one spell. This guy's really underfed. Holy crap. <laughs> I really want to one-shot the RE again, if I get the opportunity to. The Proto Belt, nice. Oh, that Jin damage. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. I guess Deathfire Touch got her. <laughs> Oh, Renekton's AFK. Yeah, I guess that's the game then. We just stomped them a little bit too hard. They just couldn't handle it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game here today. If you did, make sure to drop that rating as it really helps with the channel a lot. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe for more. And also, guys, of course, make sure you give me some feedback on what you think of, you know, what I've done with this video. Where I've made the thumbnail my old design. And where I've made the title my old design of titles. And I've, of course, removed the, the face cam. I think I want to keep the face cam, but I kind of want to see what people think, say in the comment section because that's one thing that I used to not have for like hundreds of videos, and I kind of just want to see how people react to that. But now that we're out of game here, I'll just switch the source around so you guys can see the post-game stats a little bit. All right, and yep, there you get to see my face. Let's go ahead here and advance details. I want to see the graphs for the damage dealt. Oh, look at that. 34,000 damage. Pretty good in a 26, almost 27-minute game. You can see our damage was far superior to everyone else's. Jin had pretty good damage though. Renekton had pretty good damage. Elise had good damage. But yeah, they're Ari and they're Draven. They're two supposed main damage dealers. Didn't do shit all. They were pretty dang weak. So it is what it is for that one. But uh, that, that's the game here, guys. Once again, you have to do if you want to support the video. I would really appreciate it because, of course, I want to go back to my old design in a lot of ways. But there's some things I think I want to keep around, like the face cam, for example. Uh, I think the titles and thumbnails, I think I want to go back to that old design. So again, if you want to support that, you want me to avoid the clickbait. Please do support the video because it does let me know what you think. And that's all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.